Okay, this is Idea Coaches for Coach East Rome. Wayne on the Weight Classes, episode 8A, UFC 137, Nick Diaz versus BJ Penn. The original main event was supposed to be Nick Diaz challenging George St. Pierre for the Walter Weight UFC title. Um, that got scratched, and I'll talk about that later. Then became Chris Condit versus George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre hurt his knee, and thus that fight's not taking place. Please watch the end of the video to get my thoughts on that. Okay, let's get to 137. Heavyweight bout. Matt Matrione versus Czech Congo. In a heavyweight fight that I can't wait to see, Matt Matrione will score up against Czech Congo. Although looking like a gatekeeper in the Ultimate Fighter Season 10, Matrione has found success in the UFC. His well-rounded arsenal helped him achieve that. His star is on the rise as he faced off against his biggest test yet. There was a time that Chuck Congo had the best kickboxing in MMA, but due to some sour matches between the years of 2007 to 2009, forced Congo logically to train in wrestling. The problem is that he only has two modes, check the striker and check the wrestler. He has yet to blend those two styles together. This causes performances like the one he had with Pat Berry. Even though he won that fight in the Hail Mary shot, he should have never been in that position in the first place. Do the intangibles that being able to transition your various skills, which Matt Matrione has over Chuck Congo, this is Matrione's fight to lose. Featherweight bout, George Rowe versus Hatsu Hiyoki. Another famed and world-ranked fighter from ages is making his debut in the UFC. But unlike Akihiro Gono, Yoshio Akiyama, Takanori Gomi, Shinya Yoki, or Tetsuo Kawajiri, Hayatsu Hiyoki has fought and trained in the cage prior to coming to the UFC, and, just as importantly, cuts weight. He has gained notoriety in the Sengoku organization, especially after defeating Marlon Shando. He's going against a man that has fought in three weight classes in the past three years, from lightweight, featherweight, to bantamweight. George Rock was a contender on the UFC Ultimate Fighter, and has impressive wins on another Asian import, Chan Sang Jun, the Korean Zombie, and Josh Gripsby. Those victories have been sprinkled on losses to higher levels of competition such as Mark Hominick and George Sopolopoulos. Unfortunately for Rob, Hayoki is in the higher tier of fighters. Second round KO for Hatsu. Heavyweight bout, Mirko Krokop versus Roy Nelson. In a heavyweight bout that should have taken place three to five years ago, Mirko Krokop and Roy Nelson will duel it out to see who's the most motivated to stay in the UFC. Although Mirko's loss against last bout against Brendan Schaub had him looking the most poised in battle since his third victory over Josh Barnett back in 2006, doesn't take away from the fact that he has visibly had motivational problems since that time. His opponent is big country Roy Nelson, who's coming off two losses himself. The wins over Steve Suave and Brendan Schaub have not shaken the feeling that Nelson is on borrowed time in the UFC. The loss to Mir made him look out of shape even for him. Usually, fading excellence beats fading mediocrity. But Roy hits hard and Mirko's trend is cracked at this point. Combined with the fact that the Croatian sensation has been hinting at simultaneously retirement and a new passion for fighting has him a little too wishy-washy a la Charlie Brown for me to base this fight on opposing skill sets alone. Krokop will be winning this on points and striking department until one of Roy's big haymakers lands. Walt Wait Bout, Nick Diaz vs. BJ Penn. A wild term event to change the landscape of UFC 137. One of the most remarkable welterweight bouts in recent years was originally set to take place pitting the challenger Nick Diaz versus the champion George St. Pierre. Due to some poor managing and judgment by the contender who spent a number of years complaining about his financial status, gave up his shot at not only a decent monetary compensation paycheck but also UFC gold. The Strikeforce champ Diaz now switched his dance partners with Chris Condit to face BJ Penn. The project has had a rough time recently. Penn, regardless of his courage and UFC hype, has not truly found great success outside of his real weight class of 155, excluding Matt Hughes. The draw with John Fitch and two losses to GSP keep him away from the top of the heap at welterweight, and Frankie Edgar prevents him from being the lightweight champion. 
The Prodigy has always had trouble with fighters that do not consume their time and energy attempting to get a takedown on him. Nick Diaz is no takedown specialist, but has equal if not better boxing than BJ Penn. The jiu-jitsu game will cancel each other out, leaving Penn to deal with getting peppered for three rounds. Okay, so here's just a quick rundown of my choices. Um, the heavyweights, I'm choosing both Matt Matrion and Roy Nelson. Then for the featherweight fight, um, I'm choosing Hatsu Hiyoki. And for the main event, I'm choosing Nick Diaz. Now let me just talk real quick about what the original or second original main event for this car was supposed to be like. Um, Chris Condon is a fantastic striker. He's really good at his transitional game. However, he's completely skipped a whole different tier of fighters going from Stun Gun to George St. Pierre. Um, people like Jake Shields, John Fitch, Nick Diaz, Josh Koscik. I mean, he hasn't faced any woke to it at that level yet. So uh, it's very difficult for me to believe that he has a chance against George St. Pierre because he's never found, he's never fought a very good ground fighter and he's never really fought a very good wrestler. So I really feel that George St. Pierre would just take him down for, you know, the four rounds, five rounds. Maybe I should be able to finish Chris Condon. I, I doubt it, but you know, I just don't see Chris Condon ever winning that fight against George St. Pierre at this time, even when he comes back from the, his injury. Okay, so that's I Did Coach, he's going to weight classes, episode 8A. 8B is going to take place two or three days after the event. Guys, take care.